until we come together for the Olympic Winter Games in Beijing. For China, as for all other hosts, the Olympic Games is a showcase event, a chance to demonstrate national pride to rise again and international prowess. However, politics, not sport, now dominate these games. The abuse of human rights, the global focus, as the United States refuses to offer diplomatic cover to a regime it accuses of mass genocide and crimes against humanity. They may not have been able to deny China's chance to host, but they will lead a diplomatic boycott of the games. Good afternoon. That does not modulate at all our support for Team USA. Uh, we will be behind them 100%. Uh, we will be cheering them on. Um, uh, but, of course, we will not have any official or diplomatic representation that would send a signal that these games represent anything akin to business as usual. At the heart of this decision, the Biden administration's attempts to rein in Chinese abuse of minority groups like the Uyghurs, up to a million of whom have disappeared into detention facilities. It's a significant move, but not enough for some. Diplomatic boycott is bare minimum uh, that the uh, United States and its uh, liberal democracy allies could and should have done. Uh, the Uyghur people don't have much time, much longer time to wait for the people around the world who can make a difference to do the right thing. The Chinese authorities who deny any abuses have condemned the American decision. The country's foreign affairs spokesman describing the decision as outright political provocation. This is not the first time America has boycotted the Games. In 1980, President Jimmy Carter presented medals to athletes who did not take part in Moscow's following the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. Unlike in the 1980s, the Biden decision will allow athletes to compete. The United States is the first country to announce a diplomatic boycott, but human rights groups are hoping that it won't be the last and are lobbying here at the United Nations to encourage other countries to take a similar position. Emma Murphy, News at 10, New York.